the tension between Serbia and Kosovo has flared up massively after last week's skirmishes yesterday over 30 members of the Kosovo force that is K4 a NATO led peacekeeping mission were injured during clashes with Serb protesters in northern Kosovo the protesters were demanding removal of ethnic Albanian mayors Serbs in Kosovo had boycotted the elections which took place in northern Kosovan towns. This incident comes just days after Serbia's president Alexander Vucic ordered the Serbian troops to be put on highest combat alert. Following the violent clash, the K4 said yesterday that after units were deployed to contain violent demonstrations, several soldiers of the Italian and Hungarian K4 contingents were the subject of unprovoked attacks and sustained trauma wounds with fractures and burns due to the explosion of incendiary devices. Serbs also spray-painted NATO vehicles with the letter Z, referring to a Russian sign used in the war in Ukraine. Serbs, who comprise a majority in Kosovo's north, have never accepted its 2008 declaration of independence from Serbia and still see Belgrade as their capital more than two decades after the Kosovo-Albanian uprising against the repressive Serbian rule. Ethnic Albanians make up more than 90% of the population in Kosovo as a whole, but northern Serbs have long demanded the implementation of an EU Broker 2000 deal for the creation of an association of autonomous municipalities in their area. Serbs refused to take part in local elections in April and ethnic Albanian candidates won the mayoralties in four sub-majority municipalities, including North Mitrovica, where no incidents were reported on Monday with a 3.5% turnout. Serbs demand that the Kosovo government remove ethnic Albanian mayors from town halls and allow local administrations financed by Belgrade to resume their work. This past Friday, three out of the four ethnic Albanian mayors were escorted into their offices by the police who were pelted with rocks and responded with tear gas and water cannon to disperse the protesters. The K4 commander, Division General Angelo Michel Rustuchica, criticized the attacks as unacceptable and underlined that the NATO mission will continue to fulfill its mandate impartially. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.